Baby, I'm at the point of my life where I'm tired of playing games. I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to buy a house and I'm ready to change my last name. Okay. <laughs> nice, that was so beautiful, yay. <laughs> Lil Mo, I used to be obsessed with that song. <laughs> Lil Mo was the, the best thing that never really happened, man. Yeah, I know. That's stuff. I know, it's unfortunate, it's <laughs> like unfortunate. Like her mixtape was amazing. Yeah. It just kind of came and went, but you just killed that, so. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> this is Audrey Rose, and you're checking in with thisis50.com. I'm just sitting in the studio, just trying to get to you, babe. But this song's so fucking dope, boy, it's hard for me not to play What up, this is Rose D, this is 50.com. I am here with Audrey Rose. What's up, guys? Can I tell you first and foremost how much I love your name? Thank you, <laughs> I mean, you know. Tell me about it, Audrey Rose. Is that your real name or is that, you know, something that you gave yourself? That's an, uh, a name that um, we came up with about six years ago. Okay. Um, we were in the studio. I usually go by Natalie Marie, which okay. is my real name. Completely Natalie. different. Yeah, completely different. Um, Rose, Audrey Rose has a story. There's actually a meeting to that. Um, my mother's name was Audrey. Okay. And she passed when I was young. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And thank you. Um, so we come up with this name. Rose just completely went well with the Audrey, and we Google it to see, you know, if there was possibly. An, another artist mm -hmm. with this name, and the first thing that pops up was a 1970s thriller. Yeah, Psycho, um, right? Yeah, uh, it's actually about reincarnation. Oh, I didn't see that one. Um, <laughs> called Audrey Rose, and it was just crazy to me that the little girl who dies in the movie and is reincarnated, her name was Audrey. Mm -hmm. And I do feel like, you know, I'm somewhat living a life that my mom didn't fulfill, you know, so. Was that, she, wanted, she had a dream to sing? No, but she she died at a very young age, so I mean she was only 29. So oh, wow. I definitely feel like you know I'm so living. So you connected with that movie because definitely, definitely. So yeah, that's dope. I'll be back. I actually like that. I <laughs> thought you were gonna say oh went together, you know, something that usually no. people always add like you have an Amber Rose. They always yeah. add Rose because Rose does kind of sound good with everything. Yeah. Not just saying. It's just no, fine. there's no. I mean it is, but um, no, this actually does have a meaning to it. Tell yeah. me about your upbringing, where you're from. Um, well, I'm from a little town called Long Branch mm -hmm. uh, in South Jersey. So I grew up on the shore my whole life. Jersey Shore. Um, Jersey Shore. I don't fist bump. <laughs> and you don't have that accent either. Mm, uh, really? No, you don't have that accent. I, I would have. Mm -mm. You know what's funny? Sometimes when I'm in the studio, it comes out. Like I say coffee, or water, or something. Oh, like, wait, you know? that was really strong. Hold you on, say water. I, I actually have a record and I say the word torture and I'm like, torture? Like, it's funny. I don't know why it came out like that. But um, yeah, I'm from a little town um, called Long Branch. And my aunt raised me. I grew up in a Puerto Rican household. I'm Dominican and Puerto Rican. Oh, okay. That's yeah. the both worlds, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Who <laughs> were some of your influences? Uh, I always, I, I love Tony Braxton. I felt like I, oh, wow. um, yeah. I haven't heard that in a while. I love Tony too, but I haven't heard Tony, it. Tony, um, it's so weird, you know, face recognition is kind of hard when you're a young kid, mm -hmm. you know? And I always felt like she resembled my mom. Oh, so okay. I kind of like always gravitated to her, mm -hmm. just off physical appearance, but like, her music, like I'm, this I know for sure, my mom was also a Tony fan, so I just, I love Tony, she's the bomb, so. <laughs> That's dope. So tell, us, tell me about your records now, and I saw your acoustic, um, you did a lot of cover songs acoustically. Yeah. Tell me how did that, that's just something you started for YouTube or is that just something you were doing for fun? Yeah. Or was I, that your focus? Like, um, No, it was just something to do for fun. Um, you know, I had dropped the uh, Who Do You Love? And that was definitely out of fun as well, you know? So I felt like people were a little uncertain as far as like knowing if I could really sing. Mm -hmm. So I felt, you know, why not do something to the song? And I love studio, School Break Q Studio, and I always find myself singing hip hop records anyway. So mm -hmm. I'm like, let's play with it. And we put it together. So that was really fun. That's dope. I mean, I love it. It's, I think it's, it's cool when you see like especially for a schoolboy cue to hear a, a voice like yours on it, mm -hmm. it's like completely different and I like that. Yeah. 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 Sun for the ladies, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about your single you have out right now. Uh, the single I have, out, I have out right now is with Troy Ave. I personally think he's one of the dopest 
hip hop artists out right now. And the fact that we had that chance to collab um, on the single was awesome. Especially, you know, being that we're over here in, you know, tri-state area. Um, and people really rocked with it. It gives me that 90s feel. So it was, it was really fun. I, you know, so I know I've heard the covers and I heard that one song. Is that the lane that you're gonna kind of keep going towards hip hop? Because I can, I kind of get this 80s like, 80s pop like Prince feel from you. And I know a lot of people are gonna say this, so I'm gonna be the first to say it. Janae Echo kind of look like sisters. <laughs> well, um, yeah, that's definitely not the first I got that either. Mm -hmm. I've, I've even gotten Amory and Milo J, but I can't help how I look, you know. Right. I mean, th they're not Latin, but um, no. I feel like the thing that'll differentiate us is we all have a story, and my story will just draw that line, you know, aside from outside of the physical appearance, you know. Right. So are you gonna stick with this lane, the hip hop, or? Um, you know what? Sometimes I feel rock, sometimes I feel jazzy, sometimes I'm, I feel um, R&B. It just, you know, um, I'm gonna let the- You don't wanna be in a box. I don't wanna, I don't wanna- Got you. Label it, no. And now you have a mixtape coming out. Yes. Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. That's dope. I can't yeah. wait to see the, like, the actual artwork for that. Yeah, we're still, um, we're still working on that. So now I'm gonna do this stuff with Instagram. Everybody post something with a subliminal. And you posted this right here. Don't act surprised when your friend with the ear becomes your enemy with the mouth. Woo! Somebody pissed you off! Yeah, somebody. <laughs> what somebody. happened? Tell um, me about it. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not gonna go into detail, but I mean, this person definitely knows that this is directed towards them. But you know, not for nothing, um, things have been going very well with mm -hmm. my, with the, the, pro the progress in my career has been um, very, I'm blessed. Um, and you know, just some people With who I thought, some people who I thought were my best friends, who I call sister, and we've literally grown up together. Um, it's just it, it, it's hurtful to know or to hear things being said, and to not have their support. You know, as things um, progress in my career, so you just gotta you gotta burn some bridges. So do you still, like, do you have a strong circle now? Um, I have a very small circle. It's important, you can't have a big circle. No, um, and I feel like I've, I mean, even since leaving high school, um, I, I cut so many ties. And, How old are you? I'm gonna be 26. Oh, you're you little Aquarian baby. I wanna be young again. <laughs> girl, your skin is amazing. Oh, but. Girl, I'm pushing 30 next, I'm gonna keep saying this. Sorry guys, I'm turning 30 next month, it's a big deal to me. Are you I Aquarius? feel like I'm super old, yes. Ah. I'm an Aquarius and you're 26 and I'm jealous. Oh, whatever. <laughs> no, I'm well, I'm only getting older, so. <laughs> no, 26 is a great age. 25 was my favorite age, but 26 is a transition between, like I feel like you know that you're a young adult now, like you gotta get your shit together. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's a lot of pressure, so. Girl, 26, what pressure, man? You doing the thing, look at you here, this is 50. I, I got an email, June sending out the email with your single, like, you got here, sus it's one with sweet. you right here. It's you got a you, you got a great situation going on for I you I right do, I, I'm definitely humbled and blessed with, like I said, the program. Yeah, stay so. humble, don't be one of those chicks that act crazy. We see you two years I don't from think now. I, I don't think I have it in me, and people say that all the time, and I'm like, I don't think I have it in me. I, I don't have Yo, it in me. Trust me, famous? No, <laughs> to just like not be humble. Like Famous, like when you're in the, it changes you. Like whether, whether it's for good or bad, it does change you. And as long as you see it coming, and you have I, the good people around you, which yeah. I see you do, you'll be all right. You'll definitely, be great. Definitely. So let's go back to your upbringing. Where was your dad? How did he play in the, this whole situation? Well, my um, my father actually passed a year after my mother. No. Yeah, so, um, I mean, as a kid, when you lose people so close to you at so, such a young age, it's like you, you, you really aren't certain on why things are happening or, or even that they're actually happening until um, time subsides and you start realizing, like, damn, like, it's Mother's Day, where's my mom? Wow. It's Father's Day, you know what I mean? So, so you were six when you were... I was five when my mother passed, six when my when my father um, passed. And um, it's just, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to, to grasp. But as you get older, like, I can talk about it, mm. you know. Definitely made me who I am, right. you know. But that's why I say, you know, I can't, I can't ever picture myself not, not being, being humble, humble because there's a lot of things I haven't had, and um, I would love to, I, I'm one of those comforting people, mm -hmm. you know, so I, I, I'm the person that wants to fill that space, Aww. you know, so. Yes, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> it's an Aquarian <laughs> thing, you already know. No, we're nurturers for sure, Yeah. Our water. So tell me, what else, tell me about your social networks, tell me what else you have going on, what, what do you, do you have any other projects besides your mixtape, Guns N' Roses that you're working on? Clothing, your fly, you know, I'm, just, I'm sure there's a lot of deals on the table. If not, holler at her, what's up? <laughs> Um, well, yeah, right now the mixtape is done. Um, mm -hmm. I can't wait to drop that. Um, and then we're, we're going to be 
work. I mean, we already started working on the second mixtape. Nice. <laughs> I mean, they're all, it's just an all a series of events um, that I've actually experienced. So, um, and then, you know, the EP. So we're just working. I'm constantly in the studio. Um, it's my life, you know? Tell me how you met with this guy, so one. Um, we actually, <laughs> Um, Uno, I call him Uno. Um, <laughs> I met Uno um, through, uh, through a, we had mutual friends, mm -hmm. and um, I got word that Uno was looking for a, a female artist. Long story short, we scheduled a date, we met in the studio in Jersey, um, where I work out of, and we just hit it off, you know, like, I mean, I am amazing. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> no, but um, we, we hit it off. Um, we actually worked on the first single, That Love, that exact night. So, nice. Yeah. So that definitely worked out. It was out. definitely yeah, organic was and Uno almost, yeah, crazy. Like we, we're celebrating, um, starting like, you know, a new chapter, meeting each other and we, we, we were so excited and um, Sus actually got into a really bad car accident that night. Oh Which gosh. was th completely threw me for a loop, but um, luckily, you know, with the grace of God, he was, he's okay. Yeah, we don't want, so. we don't want anything bad to happen no. to Sus. No, definitely not. So, how did the collaboration between Remy Martin and um, Fetty Wap come to come to pass? Well, okay, so Fetty actually records at my studio, oh, so okay. we we've met on a few occasions, um, and Fetty's got his thing going on. Um, he's dope. So I thought it would be dope to get him on, you mm -hmm. know. And then Remy, like, come on, like Remy, like she's she spits for this. You gotta love her. She's you gotta love Remy. Like I remember, like being in high school, like in the car, smoking, <laughs> listening to Remy, like, but um, yeah, that, like, that, that's, I was so excited to hear so that So just, it was just because you guys were in the studio and then Fetty made that happen, made the connection, or? No, actually Sus made that happen. Nice. But, yeah, so I was super excited about that. And she killed her verse. I swear I got the hottest verse this year that she did. So, but okay. <laughs> so being a female in this industry can, I mean, obviously, it's it's not it's not as easy as being a male. Is, what kind of things have you faced, if if any at all? I mean, I haven't experienced anything yet. I'm mm. I'm sure I have um, that coming. But I mean, you just gotta stand your ground. I mean, in general, aside from the music industry, um, being a female, you know, everyone always looks at you like you're just this, this, this feeble, fragile, you mm. know, thing and a human being. And it's like. Um, that's definitely not me, personally, you know, so. You're a little firecracker, you I'm just don't know about it. I'm a firecracker, it. I have the heart of a king, so. Nice. Um, yeah, gotta stand your ground. All right, so anything else you wanna tell your fans that you have? Because I know you have a really strong fan base. Yeah, I mean, I love my fans. Team Audrey Rose, I love the support you guys give me. That's what's definitely keeping me going. I can't wait to drop this mixtape and let you guys hear what you guys been waiting for. So just keep in touch. And I only have one Instagram. I am Audrey Rose, and then I have a Twitter as well. Audrey R Music. Audrey R Music.